Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In the short video, I'm just going to show you how you can use a great new app called Wikilock, W-I-K-I-L-O-C, on an iPad to send GPS routes tracks to your Garmin Oregon 700 750 GPS device. The first thing you need to do before you start using this app is make sure that you've already paired your Garmin Oregon with the Garmin Connect app on your iPad with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. You can watch our previous video on pairing your Oregon 700 with your iPad and using the Garmin Connect app. On our online training course we have lots more in-depth videos showing you how you can connect your Oregon 700 750 via the Connect app to your iPhone and Android phone as well, which you could then use with the Wikilock app. You get that online training course for free if you've bought a unit from us or £25 for a year's access from our website. So if you've already watched our video on downloading the Garmin Connect app to your iPad and connecting that to your phone, um, sorry, connecting that to your GPS device with the Bluetooth, you're then ready to go with the next stage. So what we need to do is download the Wikilock app to your iPad and also via your GPS, sorry, via the Garmin Connect store, we add it in there as well. So you go to the app store, you search for Wikilock and the logo you're looking for is this little sort of green circle with the orange band through it, Wikilock. So I'll just open up the Wikilock app there. That is the Wikilock app. So you download the Wikilock app and once you download it, you can go into the settings at the top and you get the option to create an account, which we've already done. So you create an account, and what you need to do is buy something called a navigation pack so you can get all the features out of the app, which we think is great value. We've got a one on here that expires in December. It was $1.99 for three months, or it's only $3.99 for 12 months access. So you do need to get that navigation pack. So you go to the App Store, download the Wikilock app, you go into the settings and create your account with a username and password, and you go into the navigation pack and pay for that navigation pack. Once you've done that, you've done the first stage, I'm just going to close that app down now. So on the Garmin Connect app that you should have already downloaded, looking at our previous video on getting Garmin Connect and pairing it with your phone. So when you've got the, once you've got the Garmin Connect app open and you've got your GPS device paired with Bluetooth, you can touch on the more option at the bottom. And then from the more option, the screen that I've got up here, we search for Connect IQ Store. So if I touch on Connect IQ Store, it'll show you the GPS device that I've got connected, the Oregon 700. And you can search for apps to download. And the one you would be searching for in this Connect IQ Store would be the Wikilock. So I'm just going to type in Wikilock there and say search. And then you basically download that Wikilock app into the Garmin Connect. So I'm going to close that down. So once you've done that, if I now go to my Garmin devices here in this list and I can see my Oregon 700 at the top, which is connected. And if I go connect IQ apps and it's an application, it's classed as we'll see here that I've got the Wikilock Trail app on my um, application within the Garmin Connect app. So I'm just going to come out of there now, come right back out of there. And I'll just close the Connect app down. You leave the Connect app, so you've opened it, you haven't closed it fully, you just minimise it on your iPad. My GPS device is already paired with it, so if I go to the GPS device, got it turned on. If I touch on the three white bars on the screen, Bluetooth, status connected. So that's paired already with the Garmin Connect app. So if I go back now to this Wikilock app, which is really what we want to show you today. So on the Wikilock app, if I select the Wikilock app and you use the option navigate, that lets you search for any routes or tracks in the area that you want to search in. I like the option search place. So I touch on search place. I could type in the village that we're based in in Northumberland. Simply type in Rothbury and then hit the search. And then you'll see it'll start searching and I can see Rothbury in England came up right at the top. So if I touch Rothbury England, then you get the option where you can apply filters, search for the type of activity you want, distances, etc. I'm just going to say apply filters and search for everything. If I just scroll up and down, you get examples of routes with a name, distance, tells you if it's a hiking route, if someone has classed it as a hiking route or a cycle route. I'm going to pick this one that says Cragside. Hiking 7.2 kilometres. 
gives you an overview map of the route. You can have a look at the elevation profile. Sometimes you'll have extra photographs added about the route. Depends whoever's uploaded it, what information they've put in. Information about elevation and distance. If you're happy that you want to use that route in your Garmin GPS, I can simply select send to your Garmin. And that says it's now ready to connect. So I can go to my Garmin GPS device now. So if I open up the Garmin GPS device, already turned on, and again it's already paired with the Bluetooth turned on. From this home page that says hike, I simply touch on the IQ icon, and I can see Wikiloc's the only IQ app that I've got on this GPS device, and it's told me that it's ready to download a trail, touch to continue, so I touch the continue, it's downloaded the trail, I get a nice message saying download complete, enjoy. So just touch on continue there and it actually goes straight to a screen that says launch track, yes or no. So if I wanted to do this walk now, I'm at Cragside or I'm just walking to Cragside now, I could say yes. More than likely if you've downloaded it from home, you're probably going to say no. And then I can just hit the little back arrow to come out of there. Now, even though it might be described as a route on the app, whatever you download from this app, it's always sent to your GPS as a track to navigate. So you must remember that. And then using the little where to icon on the GPS, the magnifying glass, I can now search for tracks, select tracks, and I can see my Cragside one that I've just downloaded there. And there it is on the screen, ready to press go on the GPS device to navigate with. So it's a great way of downloading routes that other people have shared on this app. Another feature of the app, if you have been emailed a GPX file, which is the format for a GPS route track that we use in a Garmin GPS, if you've got an email with a GPX attachment on your iPad, you can select in your iPad to open that attachment using the Wikiloc app where you get the option of what do you want to open this attachment with on an iPad. And if you select the Wikiloc app, you can then save it. You have to save it first into Wikiloc and then you get the same option. You can download it to your Garmin GPS using the app. So I hope you found this video useful on using the Wikiloc app with a Garmin Oregon 700 or 750 GPS when paired with the Garmin Connect app. And thanks for watching.